I'm Adam Carolla. He is Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Fax number 310-854-4455. Dr. Drew is a board-certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. And uh, tonight our guest is one of the freshest young faces in comedy. I mean, this this kid is a hot, up-and-coming commodity. You've seen him around town. You've... um, You've seen him on the Simply Don show, which is a public access show out of Eagle Rock. He's, uh, you know his work locally from the uh, Kevin and Bean Morning Show as a sports guy. And the Psychic uh, Network, Psychic Friends Network. No, how dare you. Jimmy Kimmel, my uh, beloved partner, is going to be in here in just a few minutes. He has, <gasps> a, he has a little difficulty with uh, sense, his um, sense of direction. He is on the uh, 405 freeway, but he's uh, switching on to the 10. And he'll be here uh, any moment to plug what, Drew? Oh, probably The Man Show. The Man Show, yes. New episodes starting tonight as we speak on Comedy Central. I watched tonight's uh, episode of The Man Show on the satellite with the three-hour New York feed. How was it? Excellent. Good. Exquisite. It's good. This this is actually your chance to do I was marvelous. But let's just focus on a guest, Mm -hmm. Jimmy. This is actually your chance to legitimately... Discuss the show. Yeah. At least allow the guests to discuss it. So the yes. show comes up frequently. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You can also find uh, Jimmy Kimmel on the uh, Fox pregame show. Which I strangely have not seen. Because it has to do with sports and and straight guys enjoy sports. Oh, I see. You gays are so, watching uh, the so ice my dancing. Boy, my boys seem to like it. Oh, they is one of them straight now? No, they both like the sport. Oh, they're both straight. No, I was the one watching the ice skating. I see. So, All right. Do you get up early enough on a Sunday to enjoy I Jimmy? Think that's, I think that's the thing. I don't get up early enough. Comes on about 9.15. Yeah. Very yeah, Sunday is my day to sleep in. This is my day of rest. It is the Sabbath. I see. How late do you go on a Sunday? It's certainly past 9. Really? Yeah. And how, what time do the kids get up? 6.30. My, you, kids, my kids got up this morning at 6.50. Could you drug them? Six fifty. I would if I could. They're gonna make great garbage men one day. Six fifty. <laughs> Get up at that hour. Man, and they, they, if they had two two uh, trash can lids bang together, they'd do it. They start at six fifty one. Do they come in your room? Uh, well, at least somebody does. Somebody you know, let me tell you something. If if one morning when they came into your room when they when they trounced into your room at uh, six fifty five, if you just hit them with a shoe. Just no. threw like a boot at them. We, we do the equivalent. We we are so we are so irritable that they like okay they don't come back. They understand. Yeah, they understand. All right. Uh, I gotta warn you. I've been gassy all night. <laughs> oh, this sh- this sh- and, yes, Jimmy what, called. What, what great fo- good fortune for you. Jimmy called me to tell me he was gassy. <laughs> So did you start, what, dousing up? I then farted into the phone. So he said this may be a long night for Drew. (sighs) Although I do know Drew can put it together when he has to. Let's see what I can pull together here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it could be be a tough night. uh, It really is is a lot of uh, championship a-holes in this room. I mean, uh, I'm, you know, no one's better when I'm having a good night. And Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's Mr. Consistent. That's what his rectum is known as, Mr. Consistent. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's good every night. He doesn't have a bad day. He's His anus is like, uh, remember Rod Carew? Yo, oh, yeah. Always made contact. It's kind of like Tiger, Tiger Woods. Not necessarily a home run hitter, but here's a guy who always put the ball in play. Yeah. He's a guy's a, a lifetime, you know, 333 hitter. That's what Jimmy's asshole is. And I'll have you know that Jimmy... Not that he can't swing for the fences and put one out of the park once in a while, but he has a very consistent ass. And and I don't want to... uh, Whereas my ass is more of a Dave Kingman. Don't you ever stop talking! I don't want to worry you or offend you, but... A lot of of swings and and misses, but some big, towering shots. Jimmy and I had dinner together last night in anticipation of tonight's show. Oh, really? Did he eat the raw clams? He he was uh, getting ready. So, uh, a little garlic... Yeah. A little pasta for Zool. All right. Oh, yeah. That is that is mm-hmm. in his arsenal. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anyway, the... Uh, I'm not kidding. We had dinner together last night. Yeah, we, I know. You went, yeah. you went to that uh, birthday party. Yeah. 
Anyway, like I said, one of the freshest young comedic <laughs> faces in town, Jimmy Kimmel's going to be in here to plug The Man Show, which is on uh, right now on Comedy Central. With uh, It's first in a whole new run of uh, spectacular Genius. episodes. Genius. Yes, yes. I- incredible. Yeah. Jimmy puts on the x-ray specs. I go down to the hardware store. Tremendous. Matt? Yeah? You're 16. Yeah. What's up? Um, first, I want to say, Drew, Adam, you guys rock. Thank you. All right, um... I got my nipples pierced about two weeks ago, and um, they're starting to, like, I think they're getting infected because they're starting to get real wet, red and swelling. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. You're them both on some? Who did yeah, this for you? Them. Who did this for you? Your, your uh, roommate in no, prison? My, my cousin's friend. Um, he pierces at, a, like, a studio place. You know, any reputable piercing person or organization wouldn't do someone under the 18 without a uh, mm. parent. They wouldn't. wouldn't. Oh, what piercing place is reputable? Have you seen the, no, those some places? Of them are. Oh, oh yes. the guys. You ever? The guys who work in those places look like uh, the guy in the cover of the movie The Hills Have Eyes. Like Tommy Lee. At least. But some of them, some of them really try to create. No, some. they don't. Yeah, they do. Tommy yeah, they Lee do. and Marilyn Manson. They're all well, troublemakers. It, this could be that merely that it's rejecting, but it also could be infection. I, I, I would but, suggest. Um, I heard if you take them out, they'll scar up. Well, and they're going to. And when you get them pierced again, they'll have to pierce the scar tissue. That could be, but it, it's going to scar worse if you leave it in through an infection. But listen, but what's did, wrong with piercing through scar tissue? By the way. By the way. I don't know. What? What? You know what I mean? You don't feel that, did, do you? I just hurt hurt real bad. Did you do the proper care? Did you yeah, do the cleaning um, one up? I I cleaned them and stuff. The way that this guy instructed you how to do it, right? Uh, not really. Oh, see, so yeah, that's you got them. You got them both pierced. Yeah, I did them both at one time what's, as well. What's, what's wrong with you? you do nothing. Really, seriously. <laughs> nothing. You're really. 16. That's a little gay, isn't it? No, no. Come on, that's weird. My girlfriend was helping me get it done, actually. Oh boy. All right. What is You're she? Gay. Is she in her 40s? No, she's um 17. All right. Do you hate your parents? No. Okay. Well, um, now that he I should. told my parents to find out because my dad told me he'd rip anything out <laughs> that he'd find pierced. Well, good policy. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. remember that policy. I'm, I'm going to yeah. apply that one. But the, you may need to see a doctor, Matt, because if these infections get going, they can be fierce. Are you still sick, Drew? Yeah. Oh, it's an awful weekend. I got I got so bad on Saturday, you would have been howling your ass off. What, you couldn't, couldn't oh, be understood? Boys, oh, it's bizarre. Cranking all over the place? Greg Brady with each each word. I think it's Pete Brady. Sam? Excuse me, yes, people. Yeah. You're 15. What's up? Um, well, my about a year ago, my dad got caught for possession of crack, mm. and um, he uh, went to a psychiatrist afterwards, and they said that he wasn't addicted. He was just going through a hard time. Please. But, Please. But um, about... This occasional use of crack, the recreational crack. Well, I remember when uh, my grandfather passed away a few years back. My grandmother did some crack for a while, just this, during this, the grieving process. This, 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 Had to cope. We all smoked. We all passed the crack pipe at the funeral. There, there really are two drugs that do not have meaningful recreational use. That is crack and heroin. If you're using those, it's because you're an addict. Well, and, you know, so he pretty much promised to us that he wasn't going to started again but i guess if if he were not going to a program and actively involved in some form of recovery he would use again and he well i that's my question is he is right now yep and oh um, wait wait a minute well let's be fair to the guy maybe he was just dealing <laughs> no he he wasn't he he had like a very small amount and i, I see an undercover undercover cop kind of busted him i think is what happened i see but right. yeah i just was uh, I was uh, suspe- suspecting that he was, and I found some of his pipes and things, but I'm just wondering what I should do to help him. Or ah, uh, boy, you should go to Alateen. And did you, you have a mom? Yeah. Does she know about this? Well, she knew about the previous. Um, and- Tell her about this one. You go to Alateen. She goes to Alanon, and you guys require him to get some treatment. That's it. All right, you Sam. Got to be very firm about this, Sam. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. 
Jimmy Kimmel is now here. Jimmy, you know, from the Fox pregame show, as well as the Man Show, which is on uh, as we speak on Comedy Central. That's right. Oh, it's on. Oh, now it's on. There we go. It um, always takes a little while. I was listening to you guys in the car on the way over, and um, I, I felt a fart coming out of it. <laughs> I, I held it, which I haven't done for year, years. I yeah. haven't held one in. And I, I'm riding with my brother. I said, this is very unnatural. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to explode. And uh, but I did save it because I was hoping you'll okay, Jimmy. Depart yeah. as I burst in the door, but it didn't. It didn't happen. The, the ass doesn't respond quite like a skeletal muscle. You can't well, command. Well, not Adams. Adams got like a jab. He's no, no, a, no, no, Even his, right? He farted. I said, no. Adam, I have gas. He farted right into the phone. Yeah, yeah, he's lucky. Lucky yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Usually know. it's like, all right, here comes. No, no, no I know no. a couple of guys that can do that. Adam does it on occasion, but uh, there's a couple of guys I know that can fart like that. Yeah. It's a serendipity when I do it. I don't have complete control over my anus, but I do have good timing. Like, you need good comedian. Why are you three grown men sitting here talking about this? <laughs> it would be a big night. Truly really bizarre. I tell you, if my dad was here, he'd be talking about it and laughing, too. Oops. Jimmy, what you... It separates me. Wait a minute. It really does. Oh, no, no. I, no, no. I don't want to have a horrible, embarrassing accent. I just had Mexican food. <laughs> so, wouldn't that be great if I actually crapped on myself during the show? Yeah. Did I, it on the man show once. Yep, he did. He was in a yeah, uh, yeah, nice white you, suit. You yeah. find this stuff infinitely amusing. Right? Just, you, you <laughs> ne- never see Most it. women do. <laughs> <laughs> Most women love it. Do you know like this? Not at all, no. She does does my wife is not. Anything humorous in there? Not even in the slightest. Yeah. No. Does she understand what you two find humorous I think she, I don't know if she understands. I guess it's like, you know, if you understand, like, why certain animals eat certain things. Like, why, you know, you see chip, squirrels eating acorns. You go, well, I wouldn't eat any acorns. But I guess for them it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, I enjoyed having dinner with you guys last night. Yeah, it was a good time, yeah. right? Yeah, it was a good time. But yeah. let, let me tell you something. I have been in the room when Jimmy has let some of these things go, some of these uh, natural disasters that come out of his ass. <laughs> it really should get some, like, FEMA should step in at some point and, you know, start ha- handing out blankets and cots to the to the survivors. It's unfortunate. But really, it is a natural disaster. It comes out of his ass. And I'm in a room that's twice as big as this one, and I I can't handle it, and I go walk outside, and I think to myself, what must that be like to the poor woman who's trapped <laughs> under the comforter with him at 4.30 in the morning on a on a you know very uh, cold, cold morning? It's no good, but she deserves every she inch, does not every, use every cubic life foot life. of fecal uh, matter. I, I want to come to her defense. Delightful. You guys gang up on her <laughs> unnecessarily. <laughs> she is. The one thing she isn't is delightful. Yes, she no, is. You can't, you, she's yeah. a lot of things, but and not all bad. But not delightful. <laughs> Never <laughs> delightful. <laughs> but she's drunk. She's, uh, she's whimsical, but uh, <laughs> not delightful. All right. Well, uh, Jimmy, what's next for you after the man show? <laughs> I have some projects in the works that you may know about because you're in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, let's plug the man show. It's on right now. People should turn off the radio, actually, shouldn't they? And just come back at 1031. I mean, That's right. Move. We'll be here. They can skip the uh, the rerun of the man show that will follow. But uh, I guess if you're listening well, the, with, uh, on the West Coast, you should just turn the turn the radio off and watch it. We'd appreciate it. Oh, my yeah. God. Or, or just turn well, the radio off. Drew, you're down. on 10 hours a week. What's one half hour going to kill you? Adam and I, we're out on the streets if this thing doesn't work out. That's right. They move us to Sunday nights. You hear me, Drew? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Then you can go around to... Uh, See how delightful my wife is when I'm unemployed. That, he can go around scrambling for jobs, for any, any kind of employee, any <laughs> sort of right. money. That, That's uh, right. There's any, a little something that Drew was, Adam was busting Drew's balls about on oh, the air. Is like, Drew, uh, where, 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 where are you tonight, Drew? Drew's out of town doing some corporate gig. Uh, Drew, some, Drew smells a nickel. He goes running. <laughs> I thought, so, so Jimmy coached me a little bit last night about how I should respond. It's funny that Adam would say that, of all people. Well, because I'm funny. <laughs> well, well, let's, let's remember uh, Caught Red-Handed. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the television history. Television, like, red-handed. And, and uh, what else, Jimmy? Oh, God, and we're constantly, constantly trying to prevent Adam. I mean, you don't know the things that go on. Commercial. Don't tell Adam about this. <laughs> Did you guys still do anything? Him? Yeah, I'll meet with him. Yeah, yeah sure. You, you guys didn't know that De Niro was in Lost in Space for the first three seasons, <laughs> did you? Everybody slips up. But it's the yeah. professionals that get back on their feet, dust themselves off, and chase the next roll of nickels rolling down the street. I can't know. believe I haven't farted yet. I'm disappointed in myself. Yeah, I haven't, I, I haven't either. And yeah. I was farting up my house, and then I was farting up the car, and I was really yeah. thinking this is going to be a big night. It's all the stress. 
All right, let's see what we can do. Drew, what can we do to aid this gas? Is just coffee, just, just swallowing just air? Swallowing air, swallow much air. There's no raw vegetables in that vending machine, are there? No? There's nothing. There's bugs. Yeah, I heard he ate some worms. <laughs> <laughs> he really, he just ate a moth larva. No, no, no the moth itself went, went down. Do you think he ate the moth, though? Yeah. Did you check your stool? No, but I had some weird stuff in my teeth. Did you feel your stool uh, hovering toward the porch light? <laughs> his stool is flying around his suits. <laughs> Lindy, Lindy, caller. Person who identifies himself as Lindy, see? No, because they wouldn't make up Lindy. All right. Well, it could have been creative. All right, let's go to Peter. Peter. Hey. You're 19. What's up? Yeah, I got I got this girl pregnant at work. She's 27. I'm 19. What kind of work are you doing? I work at a department store. What What part of the department store? Uh, clothing, just like men's clothing. What department is she working? She works in uh, the female clothing, whatever, Mervyn's. Mervyn's? Mervyn's? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you so. work at Mervyn's? Yeah. I used to work at Miller's Alpha. So I was a big rival, Mervyn's. Somebody came in with a Mervyn's bag, tried to return something. like, get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're like the uh, Jets and the Sharks. Yeah, Peter. I was wondering if you guys could shoot me. You know, I listen to the show all the time, and now I got this chick pregnant. I'm like, well, no. I, I don't know if I believe him. How, um, did you date her very long? You want to talk to her? No. No, no, I really don't believe <laughs> there she, you. There she is. Well, yeah, really. Well, is she, is she, does she have anybody? Is she your girlfriend? Yeah. I've only known her like a couple months. But she's not like just this chick. She's your girlfriend, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you, do you well, love her? I don't know. Oh, i got to talk to her. Oh, no. She's no, in no. the room. He's going, I don't know. He's very casual. This can't be true, can it? Well, let's get her on the phone. Put her on the you phone. You want to talk to her? Yeah, we yeah. do very badly. Come here. Ooh. Come here. What's her name? Very forceful for someone that's eight years older. Watch, she's listening. Watch. What's her name? Come here. Her name's Lindy. <laughs> What's her name, Peter? Lisa. All right, Lisa. We need we need to straighten straighten Peter out by talking to Lisa. Uh, she don't want to talk. Uh, that's a shame. I'm not lying though. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I, we went to Planned Parenthood last week. And? That's how we found out. Yeah. Did, well, she does she want to have the baby? Yeah, she does. I told her to get abortion. She got mad. Yeah, you're, you're Peter, very Peter, smooth, you're Peter. You're cavalier, Peter. I know. I'm an a-hole. Yeah. Do they, do they have a children's department at Mervyn's? <laughs> yeah. All right, so you get the there. discount. This won't cost you as much as it would regular it's people. Discount. They can't afford a kid working at Mervyn's. Yeah. No. And just inform me I'm wearing the same shirt that I'm wearing on the man show uh, <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> What, what are the chances? About yeah. 50 50? Yeah, you have two shirts, so what the hell? Who's the guest? Hey, uh, G- <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, one of the hottest, freshest faces in the uh, LA scene. Jimmy's very hot. Yeah. All right, hey, Peter? Yeah. I'd like to help you with your problem, but you seem like such a colossal a hole. It, it, it really interrupts my process. I, you are an asshole. I'm glad you went to Planned Parenthood. Uh, it I, I seems like you're sort of helping her through the process, but it doesn't sound like you're very involved with her, and she needs to know that. Well, what? Maybe she should give the kid up for adoption. Yeah, that'd be great. And then give Peter up for adoption. Yeah. Lindy, are we trying to get her back? I'm trying. That's good radio, Drew. She when I was um, 17 years old, I had sex with uh, one of the managers at Miller's Outpost. No way. His name was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything no, yeah, for a free I belt. <laughs> Actually, did. Dale. I hope my mother's not listening. Yeah. And when you were seven, how old was she? She was like 26 or something. Same deal here. As yeah. As, as, uh, Didn't deal. get her pregnant, though. How many years were you at Miller's Outpost? Three and a half years. Head of the shoe department, by the way. <laughs> shoe? <laughs> shoe department. I know all there is to know about shoes. Yeah. Shoe salesman. Yes, I... Well, I didn't start as a sh- head of the shoe department. Yeah, I started at, begin at the shoes. dressing room. Yeah, it's stock room. Isn't that the requisite for then starting a rock band or something? Is, well, shoe well I, there's plenty of time, Drew. What are you Don't talking rush about? Me. That's where uh, Goldfinger came from. Nobody knows that. Including That's where Goldfinger's you. working right now. I understand. <laughs> so one of those guys at the Kings game. Dale, working at the Buster Brown. Oh, you saw you saw Darren. Yeah. Dale, you're uh, 18. Yeah. What's up? Uh, just want to call you guys to tell you guys checked out the Man Show tonight. I thought it was like the best show, but I want to talk about the X-rays you guys had on there. Yeah. X- the, X-ray specs. Yeah. With the uh, no, 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 no. The other X-rays. Oh, oh, yeah, the things. We had a segment uh, where uh, X-ray follies. We found these X-rays on the Internet of yeah, things people had put up their butt. Oh, and, uh, yeah, there's like, like soap bottles. And 
shampoo. Curling, I think I saw a curl liner. Yeah. What do you guys What do you guys find stuff like that? That's like the grossest thing I've ever seen in the whole. That, that I never knew that was. That, but that yeah. that is a common thing. There's yeah. a real doctor that has his um, that has a website that posts those X-rays. Hey, I'm telling you something. Anybody that's worked in an emergency room, anybody that's been a colon, colorectal surgeon has seen lots of stuff. I keep all my toiletries in there. Up the key. <laughs> what? Uh, is that safe? Doctor? No. If they, 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 people die of that. We, we had one guy had a, had a grapefruit crammed up there, <laughs> and he died. He ruptured his colon. He How did he get it in there? I don't, you know, in every single well, person that comes in with me, foreign me, matter up their <laughs> rectum has the exact same explanation. I, I fell. No, no, I fell on no, it. No. I sat on it. This I guy said he it. swallowed a seed many years ago. <laughs> That'd be my angle for the grapefruit. <laughs> Any fruit in the ass. Uh, banana seed? Yeah, I ate a banana seed. <laughs> now, what's the like the most you can shove up there? I mean, I'm not like weird. Oh, I've seen bison up a uh, young, young gay man's ass. <laughs> uh, I've seen many, many things. Drew, what do you think? Bowling pin? What would you say? What would you say the record would be? I, I don't know what the record is, but all that stuff seems... Dangerous. True. What do you need to do the X-ray for? A guy says uh, he's got a lamp in his head. Most of them don't tell you what they're Yeah, most of them don't tell you. They don't tell you. They got. They, I'm having abdominal pain. Is what they come in with. Oh really? A lot yeah. Of them, yeah. Well, they don't think you're going to stumble on to the to the uh, jar. It's the, the same fluorescent tube. It's, it's the same sort of mindset that tells you they sat on it. You know what there needs to be. Uh, you know how they have those mafia doctors? Guy pull a bullet out of your side, sew you up, and yeah. not asking any yeah. questions. Homo doctor. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of these guys. Were, uh, these guys are not homos. A lot of them. A lot of them is like. Oh, no, no. Uh, yes, they are. A lot of them were like gang things that went bad. Really? Like deals went bad. Like, hey, you don't pay me. Fraternity money. hazing. Get, really? Really? Yeah. Wow. Why would they lie about it? I would, re, as a doctor, I'd refuse to treat them until they admitted what really happened. <laughs> so listen, I'm not pulling it out there until you tell me how this got up there, and don't tell me you sat on it again. Spit it out, or it's staying. <laughs> True, really. Do you, you you think people send things up people's rectums when they're late on payments and things like that? They seem to be like fights and things, like 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 retribution. That's why I had to get rid of my Discover card. Like it, one guy had a, had a was, broomstick <laughs> around his ass. That was not. That was not to stimulate. That was to the try broomstick. To kill it. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. That, doesn't like, the broom the doesn't the broomstick come out of the ass? I mean, what did it do? Break off? No, the bed no, knobs it, come it out of in the broomstick. <laughs> threw the colon into his abdomen. What about Angela, Angela Lansbury? Would she come out of your ass? <laughs> okay. Jimmy Kimmel, the great Jimmy Kimmel, one of the freshest faces in comedy. <laughs> you idiot. He's uh, here tonight. He's here uh, plugging the man show, which is on uh, right now on Comedy Central, uh, everybody, as well as uh, the Fox pregame show. Sunday's about That's not 15. on now, though. No. We will uh, take ourselves a little break. When we come back, we'll speak to Kim. Kim had unprotected sex, and she wants to know if, uh, what's that mean? Signs that she's pregnant. Oh, I see. She wants to know if she's pregnant. After this, wait. That sucks. Drew, get a good call. Get something with uh, something someone's ass. Oh, but if you admit to having something in your ass, you still need to X-ray it. You know what I mean? It well, couldn't it's, hurt. Well, it's also to make sure they haven't ruptured there's no free air in the end and that kind of thing. How low does your self-esteem have to be as a young student to get into the uh, colon rectal surgery end of the medicine field? That's a pretty. You know what I'm saying? A highly yeah. specialized. Thing. But I didn't get nothing for homecoming king. I actually uh, thought put a about plantain up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. L when we come back, we'll speak to Lisa. First date with a guy who forced her to have sex with him, and uh, she wants to know if she was raped after this. It is the love line. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. We're here with the Emmy Award winning Jimmy Kimmel, who can be found on The Man Show. Sundays, 10 o'clock on Comedy Central. Also, uh, later on this week, uh, we're going to have uh, Vanessa, one of the juggies from the Man Show, along with that's tomorrow. Uh, huh? That's tomorrow, along with uh, Primus and then uh, Natalie Rotano from VIP and uh, Justin Whalen from uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which uh, I have uh, no idea. It's a movie. What that movie is about, but I'm guessing it's Dungeons and Dragons, and that means bad times. I thought Super Mario Brothers was a little late when it came out. <laughs> the Pokemon movie just missed the curve. <laughs> yeah. Dungeons and Dragons was popular with the nerds when I was in high school. Did they still like that? I, I think it still goes. I yeah. think it's still really? going. Drew, you were playing that, right? No, never go to that. Really? Yeah, yeah. that was before I was, Drew's I was, time, Yeah, right? before my time, and I was a different kind of nerd. I was just lame. 
You were <laughs> I was a lazy nerd. nerd. No, that's true. Yeah. No, I was more lame than nerd. You were you were before Dungeons and Dragons time. Yes. Yes. I see. All right. We will uh, get back on the phones and uh, speak to uh, Lisa. Who's twenty seven. Hi guys. Hi. Um, first of all, I should just say that I love the show. Thanks. And I love listening to you guys. And I've listened a long time and I never thought I'd call. So I might as well praise you now. So Thank you're you. You're brilliant, you're brilliant, you're brilliant. So um Oh god. I've listened so long and I never thought I'd call because it sounds really stupid and I sound like a stupid girl. But um I went out on a date a couple of weeks ago with a guy and it was somebody that I had known before. I mean, it was just he came up and asked for my number, and so, you know, I didn't had known him. Went out on the date, went to dinner, went to a movie, went back to his place, you know, because, and I didn't think that anything was going to happen. He had a nice view of the city, so I thought, what the heck? <laughs> and it is a nice view, but it ended up in his bedroom, and one thing led to another. How, and, how did you end up in his bedroom? Well, because the view was from his bedroom. Oh. See, it sounds really He's stupid. very smooth. I'm, I'm sounding like a, a really dumb girl. But um, the the whole way, I mean, there was kissing and that was fine. But it was, um, I was just kind of fighting the whole way. You know, like, he would touch me there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, just slow down. Let's, okay, calm down, calm down. Wait, was he feeding you booze? <laughs> no, no. No. I was sober. What an idiot. <laughs> what kind of move is that? And, and, and slow down for a guy doesn't mean don't do that. Yeah, and I, I was, you know, I would, I mean, my hand was like pulling away, but he would just go right back, and I'm like, okay. And I was thinking maybe, But you, you know, kept kissing him and stuff, huh? I know, I know. And you said and okay. I, Wait, is so it, I, was this guy a powerful guy? I don't, I don't mean physically, but, I mean, did he make a lot of money, drive a nice car, all that stuff? No, no. Where he just he? had a nice apartment. I see. So, um, yes, it got to the point where, like, um, my, you know, skirt was up, and he was using his fingers, and I know this, again, sounds stupid, but the next thing I know, he was inside. Mm. And I got pissed, obviously, because I was like, uh didn't ask and he wasn't wearing anything oh boy yeah and yeah so, you weren't you weren't drunk huh no no, no drinking at all no oh and that's uh, very unusual <laughs> doesn't say much for his penis either <laughs> right not to know he's in yeah it was like oh wait that's bigger than a okay so. i i have this technique where i put it in first and then inflate it much like a <laughs> truck inner tube <laughs> It works better. It's better for the ladies. It's better for for the gents. It's better for everyone. <laughs> it that just way that helps. Well, yeah, that way you can get them while they're sleeping. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that impressive, but uh, are you traumatized by it? Well, I I just um, I was pissed more than anything. Yeah, and, yeah. And I kind of just laughed, and then um, I don't know. It's just it's been bothering me. And then well, of course, uh, well, I how long show. how long did it go on? Um, Did you stop it right away? Yeah, I stopped right away because I was like, you didn't even ask. Have you been victimized ever before? No. Never. No. And, um... What, what, you're, you're 27. Okay. Why do you refer to yourself as a girl? I'm sorry? You said you sound like... You, you said you referred to yourself as a stupid girl. Well, I feel stupid because, I yeah, mean... You're I, 27. I'm but she said I sound like a stupid girl. Well, because I... Uh, I should have, like, I'm not very, um... When I said no, I should have meant it, and I should have left, but, you know, I feel guilt and stuff, like, oh, you know, I, I let him this far, I really should let him just, where, Now, help me understand where that comes from in women, because that, that is a, a strange emotion. What, the guilt? Yeah. Th that guilt, because I, I the, guy was having, the guy was enjoying your company, he was fine as far as it went. If you'd said no there, because that's where you're comfortable, that's fine. Yeah, you still, guilty. he, he, still had, a, about he that. had a pretty good night by yeah. most, most accounts. You I mean, feel guilty about that. Well, what's up well, with your self-esteem? Are you over? Are you overweight? Um, a little bit, yeah. You're fat, <laughs> Drew. Please, I said <laughs> overweight. And uh, is yes, yourself the radio math? <laughs> you, how, how tall are you? Five five. Five five. How much you weigh? Let me do some radio math. Um, two ten. Two ten. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Let me do some radio math. <laughs> five three and uh, three sixteenths <laughs> and two hundred and thirty seven pounds. So uh, maybe that's it. Maybe your self-esteem isn't what it could be. 
right? It could be better. It could be better. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, how else? Uh, how's the rest of your life going? Um, it's okay. I just mostly work and date, and um, and uh, ever since I broke up with like my long term boyfriend, it's mm. just been like dates here and there. And yeah. uh, one night I got um, really drunk and then just made out with somebody. So that was I don't know. But um, yeah, this is like I I should have said no and I didn't. And then I wasn't gonna think anything about it. But I was listening to your show, and um, you had somebody on. That was, I think, an AIDS representative, or yeah, I can't remember. And it said that most of the antibody, or I don't know, whatever it's called, is in the precum. Maybe. So, just like I thought, okay, maybe the little time that he was in there. All right. Well, listen. You, you want to press charges against this guy? No, no, no. Because I wasn't thinking. You know. All right, all right, how long ago did this happen? Um, like about four nights ago. It was, um... Mm. All right. And, uh, w has he called you or anything? No, I... Well, he called, but I didn't answer. You sure might want to take the morning after pill. It's a little bit... Was it three nights ago or four nights ago? Well, I had just ended my period. Mm. Like right. I said, you still did the so morning I, after pill. I wasn't thing. worried about, um... Uh, Lisa? Pregnancy or anything. Uh, you should... All right. Nah, she's not going to be. Listen. Gee. But I was worried about now, like, maybe I should get tested. All right. Get tested. Couldn't hurt anyway, right? Well, the needle yeah. does hurt. There's a little sting when they oh, take yeah, the blood. I don't, I don't mind, but yeah, it's. I, you think that there's a possibility? Well, that it's pretty. No, it's pretty it's, get your cholesterol done while you're at it right. too. Yeah, but, <laughs> it wouldn't yeah. hurt to get checked out. I'm not that bad, uh -huh. but also is is that how it usually happens? I mean, a, a guy just he's not taking no for an answer. Well, I don't. I don't think you said no. I mean, you know, if he kept kissing the guy and he kept, uh, you know, kind of brushing his hands away, you know. Yeah, I mean, there were times when, I mean, he is, his hand was going for something and I would physically, like, take it and he'd go right back to it. Just, but like, you said slow off. down. Slow down is not, hey, nah, knock it off. Yeah. Slow down to him is, like, a way to beat. All right. Th this falls under the heading of sort of bad night. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want anyone calling the show saying that she was raped and she needs to get counseling and blah blah blah. She made kind of some bad decisions. He's an a hole. You got to just Sounds get like past he it. To, he wants to keep dating her, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You think so? He's still calling. Well, yeah. It's only been four days. How would he get her upstairs? That's a big question. The view, ice cream. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't continue dating the uh, rapist. Although he's not really a. Uh, I don't know if he's a traditional I don't think he, rapist. I don't. Didn't sound like he. No. No. Most guys keep going until they until they're stopped. They're uh, they're yeah. like uh, kids at Disneyland. Yeah. They right. don't say it's time to leave. You round them up and drag them. Yeah. You yes. keep riding until you vomit. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and and you do that bluff. I'm gonna go now. I'm yeah, gonna rape right. now. <laughs> I got other people to rape. Two minute warning. We're leaving I'm, in two minutes. I'm in the car. I'm going to my next rape victim. <laughs> I'm a rapist. <laughs> Jake. Yeah. You're sick. You're uh, 19. What's up? Hey, that's right. First of all, just saw the Man Show. That X-ray specs thing was great. Oh, thanks. It was classic. Um, first thing, hey Drew, you say that spanking is a form of child abuse. Uh, no. I remember I always ask if the people use an object. Well, and that seems to be the threshold issue. That spanking, a single episode of spanking, you're supposed to spank if it's a behavior that you need to have stopped immediately, like walking into traffic or something dangerous. Swallowing. And what you'll find is that the, the literature shown very clearly... It bugs me when I'm trying to watch TV. while spanking will, will, stop the, will stop the behavior in the moment, mm -hmm. within the next two weeks, you'll see increasing truancy and in acting out. And if you continue to spank, you tend to sort of string together this truancy, and you end up with a kid who's sort of antisocial. Now, if you, if you then factor in striking with an object, then it becomes a whole different thing. Well, I don't understand because, you know, I, for one, I was spanked with a belt. And my sister was, and my parents were, and my grandparents were. And my question is, if if we were all, you know, if everybody I know was, you know, was spanked with an object, how come we're not all screwed up? Well, Have you ever listen to this show? Nobody all, all that's the time, every night. Nobody yeah. that's screwed up though thinks they are screwed up. Exactly. So you could very well be screwed up. Yeah, we should really talk to some of your coworkers. I'm sure they'd have a whole <laughs> different spin on this screwed up thing. Plus, you're, you're going through your entire uh, family lineage, and everyone beat everyone with a belt. That's how that happens. So that's a good. 
that's that's you're, you're making kind of the, making Drew's argument the case here. for the cycle of abuse. But now, what do you have any kids, Jake? No, I'm no, I'm too young for that. You're right, and you're not antisocial or violent. No, you and nobody in my family is. You don't work around metal or attend junior college. No, no, university. I see. So everything's fine. Listen, it, it couldn't hurt to not spank them. That's the way I look well, at I, it. I don't, right. you know, what, I don't what, plan on spanking them. What it does, you check out, your sister's never been victimized in any way? No, none of us have. Nobody has. You know, it, right. it just but sets this, you up to be a victim is what it does. All right. All right. Well, I have one more question. Yes, for, and, and I want to say this. Yeah. Uh, I don't have kids. I've learned a few things from this show. When I do have kids, and I do want to discipline them, and on the off chance I do have to spank them, I don't want them to associate the spanking with me, so I'm working on a spanking machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be down in the garage. I'll strap them in, and then I'll leave the room. <laughs> Pop, I have one of those. <laughs> hey, I got one more question. And then, yeah, I think one. it was called Brutus. <laughs> can, I, can I ask one more thing Yes, quick? yes. Where did Ace Rockola come from? Where did that happen? From heaven. Uh, I don't know. Ace I was, Rockola. Uh, actually, I was uh, sleeping. I was sound asleep. I was dreaming, and then I woke up jacked off, and then I thought of Ace Rockola. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All just right, a regular you. day. That's right. Just I got a day. great invention, too. I got to tell you, I thought of this. Uh, I think you, you guys are both going to love it. Well, wait a minute. We'll take yeah. a uh, break, and when we come back, uh, Jimmy will tell us about his new invention after this. Dr. Drew over there, phone number 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Jimmy Kimmel is our guest tonight. Jimmy's here plugging the Fabulous Man Show. All new episodes on Comedy Central, Sunday nights, 10 o'clock. Three months. On television. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's the governor, Jesse Ventura. No. So here's my invention. Yeah. All right. It's kind of, it's all right putting Christmas lights up, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, hey, it's the season and this and that. But the worst part is putting them down. No, right, the, taking them down. It's bad getting them up too. Well, no, no, no. But 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 put. Go with me on this. All right, all right. No, no. Let me hold on a second. How dare you? <laughs> I want something that takes care of both. <laughs> no, but putting them up, you have the excitement of seeing the finished product, like any yeah, project. Okay, I'll give you know? that. I'll give you that. Yeah, the payoff. And taking and it signifies yeah. Christmas. Right, right, right. Taking, taking them, them down, down means it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. February. Okay. Or, right. In my family's case, like May. <laughs> right. Yeah. So here's what it is. It's yeah. like biodegradable Christmas lights. Ooh. They they last for like you know a month. Or so, and then I don't know how you make it exactly, but squirrels or birds eat, eat them. them. How about you could you can fire them out of a gun? Well, they had that in The Grinch. Yeah, like in The yeah. Grinch, in that horrible movie yeah. The Grinch, they had that. Drew loved but, but that. But you still, if even if you fired them out of, out of the, out of, you love that movie? Didn't love it. I, I admired the, really? the effort. He said well, loved. They all got paid too much. With a capital L, he but told me. But if if you actually, you know, even if you shot them up there, you still have to go down and pull them down. Yeah. This would take care of that. Here's, Somebody's got to work on this. Here's my, I, I, think I don't know the if problem, it's fireflies or what What exactly. The problem with it is, is I think if it was biodegradable and it rained, it would probably start coming undone. Mm. If it was made of some sort of product that came apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the whole electric electricity part of it is going to be difficult yeah. with the biodegradable but maybe, part. Maybe, maybe you could have some, some sort of easy eject... You know, I mean, where you pull, you pull a cord, and the and the lights and it the cord came pulls right away. Off. Velcro from, from the edible part. Velcro. Drew, do you put it's, up yeah. Christmas lights at your house? Yeah. You do not. Oh yeah. You do it yourself? No. Yeah, I sw every year I swear I won't do it. I do it. You do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just a thought. So, I, somebody I, to I work am on out awful. There. Really, like impaired when I try to do it. Yeah. I got a better plan. How about some sort of Christmas light? Uh, goggles for the kids. So each time they look at something, it appears to be covered with Christmas lights. They never say a word about it. Genius. I'm buying them right now. take them off at the end of the season. <laughs> He's standing in the bathroom looking at his penis. It's covered with Christmas lights. He that. opens the fridge. It's nothing but Christmas lights in there. <laughs> Alex? Yeah? Hey, Drew, you have triplets. You should experiment on one of them. I I'm, I'm up for it. In a lot of ways. Yeah, you got no, two. Stop. You got. No, you no. have two legs. No, I graze them like in a bizarre fashion. Yeah, I understand. See what happens. Yeah, yeah you're a man of medicine, aren't you? <laughs> nice thought. You can't donate one of your kids to the cause. <laughs> hey, Alex, yeah. quit egging him on. <laughs> one of, Sorry, you were supposed to take him on with me tonight. Well, listen, if he starts it with you, I'm there for you. All that's right. all. Hey, Alex, you're 16. Yeah, I had a question for Jimmy. Yeah. I know you're a football genius, and I don't want. I want to. Thank you. you uh, your prediction for the Super Bowl. 
Uh, the teams are already? He told me this already. He said it was going to be 24-17. That's right. What are the teams? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Be, he yeah. just he knew the score. He's that good. He doesn't care about the teams. Well, I think the Vikings, <laughs> I think uh, probably the, maybe the Vikings and the Dolphins, I have to say right now. Wow. But believe me, that'll change in two weeks. Uh, I, I'm with the, I'm with the Vikings, but I, I think the Dolphins are gonna they're gonna come loose eventually. Scored 33 points today. They're they're good and they've been doing good, but they've had a lot of years where they've done well. I don't totally and then buy fall, into the Dolphins fall, either. But fall, falling apart at a certain point. Do you think uh, the Rams are gonna beat the Vikings next week? What's that? Do you think the Rams are gonna beat the Vikings no. next week? No, I don't. Whatever. The yeah. Rams have been sort of sucking. Right Thanks, now. Alex. Yeah, Rams yeah, have been uh, sucking big time. The Vikings have been playing great, although Rams are due. I'm really hoping they win. Steelers look good today. <laughs> yeah. Who they beat? The Raiders? Yeah, that was my upset. Did you see, that, did you see that guy that was spit in the guy's face? Pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that all about? I don't know. I'm going to talk about that, I think. Yeah. Next why, did, why wasn't the guy suspended? I mean, the whole world knows the guy did. Because the referee didn't see it. He yeah. was standing right there. There's yeah. a picture of his face watching this. Yeah. But spit is invisible. And you're going to kick, you're spit in the kicker, spit in the punter's face. <laughs> so what happened? Crazy guy just spit in. He just spit in his face. <laughs> a big time. I mean, like, who's spit in the punter's face? I don't remember who it was. I was listening on the radio, so they didn't go into it. Let me tell you something about uh, the punter. He is the best guy to spit on because he has almost no face mask. Yeah, and who's he going to beat up? Right. What's he going to do? Uh, go back to Czechoslovakia and get one of his uh, older brothers to come over here and shoot <laughs> you? All right. Let's uh, hop back on the phone. Shannon? Hi. You're 25. What's up? Well, I was listening on my way back home to Lisa calling um, and talking about her situation right. where she was, um, I guess, uh, with a guy and all of a sudden she was having sex with him. Right. And I don't know if Lisa and I are having sex with this, or having sex with the same guy, but this is a situation that happened to me a few years ago. And I'm a little bit concerned that, that maybe that's sort of an M.O. of some guys. Um, yeah, and about, had, about 80 happened. million. Yeah, about 80% of all guys. <laughs> Had it not happened to me, well, I understand why. Well, well, I understand why this isn't why this is a surprising behavior. Uh, well, because because it's not consensual. No, no, no. But seriously, I, I, one thing, and then something else totally happened. It sort of it's not a separate act. Yeah, but do, do you really? It, it's it's as if. It, listen, it's like I saying it's like me saying I got my car stereo ripped off. Oh, you got yours ripped off too? Could be the same way. Oh, you were living in Montana at the time. Doesn't matter. The guy moves around. I, guy's I'm, got range. You know, I, I'm just. I, I obviously don't think it's the same guy, but I'm. I'm just concerned that you know guys might think that that's an appropriate thing to do. Wait, wait, Shannon. You need. You need to understand. I, I think it's important that women understand how guys work. So they understand sort of what what's on guys' mind as they're moving forward. Would right. you guys agree with this? I mean, yes. here's what's on your mind. Put it in, put it in, put it in, yeah, put that's, it in, that's put it, it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. Yeah, it's well, like a locomotive. I, I, yeah, they're, they're know, not, they're it's not. A more, it's a little more disturbing, though, you know, when, when the guy isn't wearing a condom and there's potential health risk. Absolutely. And really my concern is, you know, if, if he would have asked me, you know, do you want to have sex or, you know, when to go put a condom on, it wouldn't have, I don't think, been so objectionable because then I would have, A, known that he was going to do it, and B, I would have been protected. I, I, but, I, but C, you would have never let him do it. That's why he doesn't ask. Not necessarily. I mean, things were hot and heavy, and it was just a... But, I, but I, think the, I think the message is maybe have these discussions. This is what people get very confused about is that, that they, you know, the one thing, that's that one thing led to another piece. Right. The, the one thing led to another when you went into the bedroom with him. That's right. when that's when the that's when the choo choo train left the track. Right. Well, she never and, and the girl, the other girl. I don't know what happened. This one, but the other one never. She never stopped kissing. But the but guy. you should be really clear with guys up front. There's really no room for subtlety. No, right. there isn't. They, they don't get it. They don't. They don't. Don't hint. hint. Yeah. If you don't want to have sex, uh, be very clear about Way it. Way up front. And guys, and guys, I think would stop most guys of any. Yeah. Sure. You know, yeah. If, you, if they're clear, what's going? They understand clearly what's going on. Right. Um, but but, you, you, but you, if you're not, if you're not, if you're a woman and you don't understand clearly what's going on, you can't tell them to stop. Well, then what I are you going to do? That's sort of. That's what I'm sort of trying to say. Is well, how, how do we make that clear to women that they should be prepared like that? Um, they should be thinking that that's that's where a guy's headed. I, you know, I I really don't know. I it's it's just a. Well, why do you think women are more prepared about that? Um, I don't know because I think that when they go into a bedroom with a guy, they kind of maybe expect that that might be happening. Hmm. But so why aren't they more prepared? Um, you know, I I really don't know. I really don't know. Is it um, denial that you know, that I'm not really admitting to yourself that you're going down that path? I, I don't 
don't know. I guess I guess for me, um, you know, just because I go into the bedroom with a guy doesn't mean that I'm going to be having sex with him. You know, maybe we will be doing something that is, you know, is sexual, but not necessarily having I, sex. I think I got an invention. But you better be clear about that up front. I call these rape panties. These are panties with the word rape written on the inside and outside several hundred times. So if a woman ever forgets, gets drunk, and it's also written in glow-in-the-dark paint. <laughs> and in case it's they need dark. to be electrified. And how many languages? Yeah. Yes. Well, if you can read these, you are raping me. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Like that. ah. That's right. Hey, that's right. Then, then she can just say, can you read those? Well, that's the crazy thing is like, you know, I didn't say it was okay for him and this and that. I didn't say, but there's never an announcement made. Like now no, 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 we're some, going, uh, you, well, there's an now announcement. Sometimes, we're going to have sex. Sometimes it's clearly no, but when it's not clearly no, then it gets very, very cloudy. Right. Yeah. There's, there's always, an, I mean, there may be a no, but there's never a yes. You know, you never get, okay, let's, you, you just, you go about it. And most guys probably don't know. It's like, oh, she's let me do this. Oh, she did. All right. She moved her hand over here, but she's still kissing me. Not a hand's over here, yeah. but she's still, you know, she's rubbing my back and, you know. It's no different <laughs> than you going in to buy a car and the salesman saying, uh, let me flick the lights on and off, give you a few minutes to stand outside of the showroom and discuss it with your wife. Why don't you drive around the block and think about it and then come back when you, no, he's going to keep rolling and he's going to keep going to before you know it, there's a contract in front of you and he's having you sign something, he's going to keep going. He wants to close the deal. You have to interrupt the process. He will not interrupt that process. He, the men are essentially uh, scrotum salesmen. That's the, was the way I look at it. Door-to-door -door scrotum salesmen. And that's what they're doing. They're selling their genitalia to the lowest bidder. <laughs> that's the scary part. <laughs> you don't need money. You just got to hold still. Sale. All right. We will uh, take ourselves a little, little uh, we're on fire sale on uh, semen. We're overloaded. We got to move it. <laughs> we have to move it. I know we're running late, but I swear I was passing a dealership oh, and I saw a big sign. We have too much inventory. And I think, boy, these guys do it to themselves every time. They order way too many cars and now they got a deal. <laughs> When will they learn? When will they figure that out? The lot's only so big, can only hold so many, so so many Nissans. But nope, they got too much, and now it's dealing days. Everybody, we'll be back. Love line. I'm Adam. That's Drew over there. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. And Natalie uh, Rotano in here later on uh, this week. Uh, is it Sunday already? Right? Yeah. Primus and uh, Vanessa, man show juggy, going to be in here uh, tomorrow night. One of the uh, the favorite man show juggies. And uh, speaking of the man show. Bouncy, bouncy. Jimmy Kimmel is in here tonight for the man show. 10 o'clock, Comedy Central, everybody. All new episodes. Sunday nights. Although the it's over now. That's right, but yeah. uh, start planning for next week, everyone. Yeah. I mean, emotionally. Next week, I have sex with a monkey on the show. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. That's that good. was one of the most amazing television moments in history. Yeah. <laughs> no, it really was uh, extraordinary. Oh, for you, for me. Imagine what it was like for me. Yeah, it, it was beautiful. I love that slow motion. I don't know about beautiful, but it was extraordinary. <laughs> All right, let's talk to uh, Stephanie, who's 16. Stephanie? Yes. What's up? Um... Okay, I went and got tested for chlamydia and stuff last week, and my doctor called and told me I had it, and, like, right after he told me, like, my body started totally changing and, like, started having the typical signs. Which is what? Like, unusual discharge. Okay, all right. <laughs> and, like, why, why did you get tested if you weren't having the symptoms already? Well, it was just my yearly exam. Really? And he's like, I'm just going to do a culture for chlamydia, and so oh. I was like, okay. Interesting. Not a big deal. Do they usually do that? Huh? They often do, yeah. I got tested for Clamato once. It came out quite clean. But anyways, uh, so the doctor said, you know, you need to call the guys you've been with and let them know. Sure. And so... I really? Thinking, huh? Really? Did yeah. you do it? Yeah. Oh, please. I would never do that. No, I wouldn't either. What good is it going to do them? <laughs> they need to get treated. Oh. Exactly. But, but if you don't know, how bad could it be? You can infect many other people. Yeah. Before you yeah, but on. if this is the kind of thing that just nobody ever fi even realizes it, I mean, how bad is it? What what happens with this chlamydia? You become infertile. Uh huh. Oh, Le really? Leading cause of infertility. Oh uh, in well, country. more we should have more of it then. Yeah, that's a good point. But <laughs> listen, everybody's worried about all this. Yeah, you just put something in the water. We wouldn't need the condoms or anything. And, and oftentimes, women do not know they have this, and it's the years of smoldering infection that causes the infertility. 
Hmm. That's why they screen for it regularly. Stephanie? Yes? Uh, so, have you called everybody? Um, two of them. <laughs> How many more are there? Two. Do you have their phone numbers? Yeah. Oh, it would be but great if we could call them, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, yeah. That wouldn't be good. Um, you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> I think it would make it easier for you and humorous, and they'd get probably a charge out of it. Yeah. Um, and who better uh, to find out from than Dr. Drew? Yeah. He's, the man is a doctor, right? Come on. No, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> but, All right, so what's your question? Um, I read up that you can get PID, pelvic inflammatory disease. Right, right. And I'm wondering how, like, what are the odds of me getting that? Well, you were treated. Not yet. Well, I haven't gotten my pills yet. Why don't you go get treated? Because the longer, the longer it stays in you, the more the higher the probability that it's going to get into the tubes and cause PID, okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but she'll yeah. be all right. She hasn't, she hasn't had it for long. I mean, no. some people have it for years. Yeah. You can tell the other two guys? Not yet. I was going to call them tomorrow. You know, tomorrow? That's very brave. Very what good. did the other two very say? Good. The other two, one of them just totally flipped out. It's very young. And screaming really? At me. Yeah. You, you see, here's what you need to do. A key, you scream, call and scream at them. You gave me chlamydia. Right. Get My doctor office. tracked it to win it. And, you know, yeah, exactly. That's what you do. By the way, how dare he yell and scream like that? That's part of the... If he wasn't wearing a condom, that's the risk he takes. Yeah, but if you think about it, I get mad when I'm people give me a cold, even though, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, great. I got your cold. Yeah. Hey, you know. Ste okay. Stephanie, though, you must have gotten it from somewhere. Well, I have a feeling I know who I got it from yeah. because it says uh, it takes like two to three weeks to show up. Right. And I've only been with one guy since then. Yeah. Did you call him yet? Well, I did, and he wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. And he doesn't yeah. know about it. So his mom's like, well, can I give him a message? I was like, yeah, tell him he gave me chlamydia. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Nice. That's just short of a singing telegram at work. Yeah. <laughs> you told his I mom? Was, I was very proud of myself, yeah. No, that's not so great. That's a little, I mean, I'm proud of you for stepping up and telling the partners and being responsible, but telling them, well, I was a little aggressive. And Not only well, that, he what? hung up. Maybe he, he didn't, didn't want to talk. Yeah. Oh, oh, he wouldn't talk to her? He wouldn't. He refused to talk to me. Oh, well. Maybe he's mad at you for giving him chlamydia. <laughs> like he'd even go she to gave, Yeah, he gave her chlamydia. And by the way, I would have called him first and said, listen, here's some numbers of some guys you've got to call. Because you got yes. the whole thing started. <laughs> Dude, by the way, you're 16. How many guys have you been with? My vagina was merely a middleman. Why, why so many guys in such a short period of time? Um, it's been like two years. All right. That's not bad. Four guys. Uh, that's well, pretty not, good. Not even close to my friends, so All I'm right. rather pleased with that number. Okay. All right. Hang in there. Be careful. Yeah. Condoms, definitely. condoms, condoms, right? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. on your head even. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> All right, Stephanie. This is a reminder, right? Good luck. Oh, that must have been great with mom on the other line. See, those are the calls you should record because when you're Jimmy, 60, you're going to you want I, those, right? Someday. <laughs> we're going to get those back. calls? Oh, 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 no, no. No, 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 no. No, we aren't. <laughs> Drew, of course we aren't. These people are savages if this goes on. Drew, this is where my cyanide tablet uh, comes in Do you, do you in hear handy. about this? this? I want you to have this. It's, it's, a, it's a gift from us. Well, we had a guy call in last week. He was like uh, 16. He pulled an all-nighter. He met some guy at a gay club. He brought him home. And his mom walked in, you know, opened uh -huh. the door to his Wait. bedroom at like 8 in the morning on a Sunday morning. The kid was performing fellatio on himself while the guy he picked up was basically <laughs> masturbating on the bed next to him. <laughs> and I said to Drew that you should, as a parent, keep the cyanide pill. Keep it in your cheek all the time. Yeah, way back But there. when you knock on the kid's door, this is after puberty, you slide it in between your two back Just teeth. as you walk through each time. And if you ever see him performing fellatio, fellatio on himself and a guy in a leather vest jacking off, you just chomp down on it. No questions asked. You, you don't even have time to process it. It's like a Nazi war criminal. It, living in Argentina, you know? This, this is our gift to you, Jimmy. This, this sounds like a nice thing. You see the, the uh, Jewish <laughs> underground coming up the driveway? You just bite down on that thing. Yeah. You know, it's going to be just years of uh, torture and torment. You probably get uh, hung at the end of it. You just keep that. Yeah. I'm start marketing it's not a bad this. idea. No. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't need it yet. I'm saying in a few years. <laughs> we know it'd be a better idea. You guys should just move out, you know, when your kids hit puberty. Get him, yeah. You guys do okay. Get him, get him uh, some kind of treehouse to live in. Take and, a long nap. And guards, prison guards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. You're 20. What's up? Um, I needed to know when uh, the most fertile time for a female is. 
Because <clears throat> we had. Well, you can't young. predict that. Well, you, it's about eight, fifteen no, days. For me, days yeah. for me, judging from experience, it's from uh, age usually eleven to fourteen. <laughs> that's when they're. That's when they're at their peak. Why do you want to know? Are you trying to have a kid? No. Uh, me and my fiance had sex the other night, and uh, the condom broke. Why didn't you immediately go out and get the morning after pill? Uh, I asked her about it, and she said that she wasn't comfortable with something like that. Why? Because she I, wants to have kids. <laughs> well, she already has one. That's wow. what that means. I mean, why would she not take advantage of something that would prevent the pregnancy? I don't know. I heard you stress that to a number of callers. What, 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 what is there to be comfortable about? Because some people still think it's abortion, probably. It, it's not an abortion pill, Brandon. It just prevents her egg from ever being released. Okay. That's it. That's how it works. Brandon? Yeah. How old is your fiance? She's 19. Mm. Can't how? you just put this in her food or something? <laughs> I mean, seriously. This series is serious. Sprinkle it over her beef. <laughs> how, uh, beef motto. <laughs> hey, uh, Brandon, how old is her kid? Two. Oof. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Pregnant at 15. You want to get married, huh? Well, uh, yeah. We've been best friends for nine years. I see. Mm. Mm. You've been caring for her for nine years. You can't. You can't just... You sure you're not gay? Uh, I'm positive. Why do you say that? Well, best friends. Who, yeah, I don't like when guys use that term with their girlfriend and their wife. No, no, that we're means... best friends. They were that best means. friends, and now they, but now you hate each other that, that you're together, right? <laughs> no, we, we're oh. completely in love. He's still no, best maybe friends. Gay. No, this, is, this is him taking care of an abused kid, probably, to, you know, re helping protect well, he's her. He's 20. How, you yeah, know. and then, then finally she caved in after How old years is she? of him hovering around. She's 19. Mm. Hey, hey, Brandon. Right, am I right on this one, Adam? It, it does kind of... Yeah. Does she come from a little chaos? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Who's better looking, you or her? On the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, her. Yeah, a lot. She's a lot better than you could normally get. You figure? No. Uh, no. Uh. But you you've been hovering around for quite some time, right? Uh, actually, not really. We I'm had a spell that we didn't talk for like two years. Yeah. And Otherwise, it's been nine years of hovering. Um, you've liked her for a long time. As on a friendship level. No, Brandon. No, you've been into her. Come on. At first, I mean, we, oh. dated, we dated before then. Yeah. Then because you were not into her? What? Because you were not into her? Is that why you no, dated her? I was into her. That's the point. Why That's did you, we were why, making. When she broke it off, right? No, I broke it off with her. Why did you do that? Uh, I couldn't honestly tell you anymore. I don't remember. How old were you? Uh, I was 15. That's when she got pregnant. No, <laughs> she got pregnant the next week. No, she got pregnant with a guy after me. All right, so anyway, Brandon, when was her period? Uh, it ended a week ago. All right. Well, well listen, not great timing. Mean, everyone loves worse. mashed potatoes, right? Does she like mashed potatoes? <laughs> Get one. You'll hold one of the morning after pills and just put yeah, it in there. Get, get it. Call, call the doctor. 1 800 1 888. Not too late. Hey, let me grab a pen real quick. All right. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. You say this is how many days ago? This was about three days ago. Wow. Well, forget mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I get it for the next time. <laughs> Call Wendy Hendra too late. <laughs> One eight 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 not too late. Eight 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 not too late. Not number two late. Not too late. Too late. Okay. Great. All right, Brandon. Thanks. Take care. All right. Good. So, so Drew, then you're with me on the uh, sprinkling it in her food. <laughs> you, you didn't hear me say no. <laughs> it's not a bad but, plan. But I did okay, notice you talk about the best friend friends thing. Jimmy and Gina seem to be just best friends. Oh yes, we are. We're best friends. I noticed. That. <laughs> They're uh, soul. I mean, cellmates. Yeah, they're they're soulmates. I think he got, mates. he got up and announced something like the effect of Gina. A lot of people don't like you. <laughs> Wait, see, I gotta keep her. You know, at the party. Yeah, yeah, at the party here. Oh, really? Were you drunk? I wasn't drunk. No. Did she make you pay? She was drunk. You know, have to keep her. You know how it is. You have to keep her in check when she's drunk. She starts telling embarrassing stories. She about was. Me. Oh yeah. She was awesome. I love yeah. hearing the story about when uh, Jimmy cried when his dog uh, Fluffy died. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> thinks that's funny. <laughs> I know. But what, Drew, Drew, your your wife does the same thing. There's something about women. They have a few highballs and they love to just embarrass the hell yeah. out of yeah. the guy. Yes. What is that? Why? Why? What are they paying you it's back? It's them for? taking back a little power. Yeah, because you're the man and haven't you get to you be in charge all the time. Haven't you done enough? Do you know what I mean? What is that? That's scary. It's just you, general abuse. It's scary. But no, it what is I scary. what I mean is is you're dr you get drunk. You don't have any other feelings other than sexual, let's say. Right. But you don't have it's payback time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's a little disconcerting to no, be with get, someone I, who gets drunk and thinks it's payback. Time. No, I don't get payback. I don't, but I, what I get is sort of more stories that 
seem funny when you've been drinking and are just plain old embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> right. you, but, but Susan does, she will humiliate the hell out yeah, of you but with not a few intentionally, poses in her. Not intentionally. Well, I don't think it's no, the, everything's intentional, I believe. Just somewhere in... There are no somewhere, accidents. No. <laughs> there are no accidents. No. Darren? Hey, what's up? You're 22. What's up? Um, not much. I was just calling to ask, ask for your guys' advice on a situation. This happened to me about 10 years ago. I was on a, a Boy Scout. It's called the Klondike, where you, you make a snow cave and you sleep out in the snow. <laughs> and uh, my scout leader kind of had this theory that if we, instead of sleeping in individual sleeping bags, it'd be better if we unzipped them and kind of made one big one mm. and just just all sleep together and, and sleep as close as we could. And for some reason, he said the, the less clothes, the better. And Yeah, well, that is that is how they do it in the scouts. <laughs> it's in the handbook, right? The less yeah. clothes out in the snow, the better. But there is there is that theory about body heat within. There it. is. Yeah, that's what he said. yeah this, this is the quacutal yeah. Indian technique. Right, right. The yeah, Siegfried and Roy theorem. Right. <laughs> Triver, they. But found. nobody did anything weird to each other, right? That, that's the thing. I'm. There wasn't anything really weird going on, but it seems kind of kind of different. It, it probably wasn't great judgment on his part. Uh, but then again, to throw a couple of adults in the mix these days is, makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's well, just a bad well, he, idea. He wasn't in the sleeping bag with everyone, was he? Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. It was? Yeah. Well, everyone was naked? We weren't naked. We were down to our underwear. And well, what was he wearing? His underwear also. Well, what color were they? What's that? What color were they? I have no idea. Yeah. I, got, I tell you a personal experience. I, I slept on a desert once camping, and I was in a down sleeping bag, and I, and I thought, it's freezing. I'm going to put a bunch of clothes on. And I did that, and I almost froze to death. And finally, somebody about five hours into it said, hey, take all that off, which I did, and it was perfect. And then they give you a hand job. Grab, Grab your, your ankles. ankles. <laughs> yeah, then that happened. Here's some peyote. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll That'll the we, were you there? <laughs> well, listen, all I know is I almost froze in the mountains myself, and I did try to get in a sleeping bag with some guys who wouldn't let me, unfortunately. It, it, would, pay, it would pay off to have gay friends on rare occasion. That would have been one of them. <laughs> That's a while. I had Carl and the Wheeze up there telling me to blow myself, and I was telling them I was, I was dying. <laughs> They're like, hey. No, that's fine. <laughs> die. Go ahead and die. Just die quietly. Yeah, and and drag your carcass out of way. So you know we don't want any scavengers uh, tearing at your at your muscles while you're uh, while you decay here. All right, yeah. Darren. Just think of it as it's a, it's a fun anecdote for parties. <laughs> yeah, and you know you know all those like all those. Uh, tips, those survival tips, think about how useless those really are in real survival type conditions. Like, a, you know, you, you take a cactus and you, or, you know, there's ones like, okay, here's ones like, well, like if you're out in the desert and you can't find water, you just get hold of one of the desert creatures, like one of these little monkeys or something, and you feed it salt. And then when it, it, it gets the salt, then you follow it because it knows where the, where the drinking hole is. <laughs> that's yeah, that, that's going to work. How about the, uh, the simple one is like when your car's out of careening out of control, don't slam on the brakes. Right, like, don't touch of course them. you're going to slam on the brakes. Don't touch your brakes. That's what you do. I, uh, I did this thing where I remember some sort of tip of you take the rocks that are hot from around the campfire yeah. and you make a bed. You dig out a little hole with a shovel and then you fill the bed with these hot rocks that have been absorbing the heat from the fire all night. And then you put a bed of leaves over that and then you lie on it. It's like having a you know you know a electric blanket. Right. No way. I burnt my hand on every rock. <laughs> I, 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 I ended up just throwing myself into the into the fire. I didn't have a sleeping bag. That was the problem. It's one of the reasons I'm going to sue my parents. <laughs> I used to go. I used to go camping with a blanket and oh a pillow. That's a definition. If you're a bad parent, if your kid does not have a sleeping bag, no you're sleeping a bad bag. Parent. Does he regale you with stories about his mom and dad? Oh, I get. To, I mean, I get angry actually. He yeah. knows all of them. <laughs> all of them. I. Yeah. I. Uh, you must have to listen to an hour, a couple hours. A day. Oh, I know every one of them. Then I, 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 I used the same blanket. By the way, it was the blanket off of my bed. It was not even an extra blanket. It smelled like a, a sausage oh. link for the next eight years because I'd smoked it in the fire and it actually. 
was burnt from the fire. What I tell you last night, Drew, uh, this, we're at this birthday party, and th they had the lyrics to the guy who was having the birthday party's favorite song, and it was Welcome to Pooh Corner, yeah. which apparently is a Kenny Loggins song. A Winnie the Pooh story. And the thing I said to Drew, I said, if Adam saw this, he would think it was the corner where he had to crap in the coffee can <laughs> at the garage because there's no plumbing in, in the hovel that he lived in. How dare you? <laughs> I cramped in a decorative popcorn can. That's <laughs> until, totally until it was full. <laughs> oh, totally. No, it was that, not. No. It was not heaping. No. <laughs> Could you get the lid on? I leveled it with a yardstick, oh, and then I snapped the lid. Oh my god! No, this is when I was exiled out to the garage oh, to live god. for a, a couple of uh, years before oh. I ended up moving out of the house, no, and I didn't you. have access to the bathroom at night. <clears throat> but I did get a decorative popcorn can from Uncle Vince uh, Christmas or so earlier, and I kept the can. What did your and parents it, think you were doing out there when it came time to poo? Well, actually, uh, my buddy Ray did take a cramp on my doorstep. As a reminder? My dad uh, almost stepped in it when he opened the door one day. So I think he assumed that uh, that may have been mine. I have no idea, but I, I cramped in this uh, They didn't seem worried camp. about it, though. I mean, but it wasn't every night. It was, you know, it was like an emergency. At my, this, this, uh, this garage I lived in, it was like you driving cross-country or something. You know, you didn't cramp. You didn't take a leak uh, out in the middle of the desert if yeah, you didn't I, have to. I, but not, if you're between filling stations, what are you yeah, going to do? I'm not talking about your behavior. I'm, I'm talking about theirs. I mean, yeah. What did they think? They turn you into an animal. <laughs> you're like, I mean, you might as well have been raised by, uh, literally, at least part-time by wolves. Because yeah. you really, I mean, uh, one day I'm out in the backyard and uh, Adam's uh, whipping out his penis in my backyard. And he's about to pee in my kid's sandbox. And I'm like, hey, 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 what are you doing? Give me Sandbox, you're like you didn't squat down and sandbox. And he's like, eh, what, what, uh. I said, that's the children's sandbox. They play in no, there. It's a, it's a cat box. It's it's like yeah, I am. I'm, I'm like a cat. No, it was my house. I understand, but he sees a <laughs> box of sand. I know. Yeah. Yeah. He starts like, digging a little like, bit. I know exactly. Like, exactly. Flip it around. Like digging. a puma or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to claim my territory. <laughs> Those kids have uh, she had he, control that sandbox well, you know, for far he, too long. He does in his backyard, don't you? Oh, I know. Oh. All kinds of things. It's just now he stopped parking on my lawn. <laughs> I can't get to to Jimmy's lawn as easily as I used to. I used to park on his lawn. He really, I, was, I, I was amused because by how every Saturday I'd be replacing all the sprinkler heads. <laughs> he just parks on the lawn. Ridiculous. Uh, I got a little white trash in me. So, yeah. uh, Kim, yeah, just a little. Hello. You're 17. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Well, first of all, Adam, I just want to say that you're really, really smart, and I don't see why people make fun of you because I think you're just like the cleverest person ever. Thank you. Do, You're welcome. Do you crap in a popcorn tin? That was clever. I, <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. Resourceful. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, please. Kim, what's going on? What's your question? All right. Um, I was wondering, like, what are the risks involved with liposuction? Well, these because days, if it's in the hands of someone who's done a lot of these procedures, it, it's really very safe. There's certainly risk of infection. Early on in the days of liposuction, I had a woman that got uh, fat emboli syndrome from it. <laughs> and it actually went... Oh. And usually that will go to the lungs and cause sort of a shortness of breath and lung problems. This oh, actually, okay. because she had a little opening in her heart that wasn't normal, it went to her brain. And oh, she developed all kinds of interesting problems. Uh, I've not seen that or heard of that even since. Hey, Kim, you're 17. But this uh -huh. is the bigger issue. You're well, 17. Well, let me ask you about this liposuction. Is there pockets in the human body that dieting will not affect? For well, instance, for Jimmy, I'd say it's his torso. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's more that you're you're moving it around because you you'll still deposit fat again somewhere else. But, but but isn't the theory behind liposuction that no matter how much you diet, no matter how much you exercise, you still have this love handle, yes. or you still have this yes. area that yes. doesn't seem to be affected correct. by the exercise and the diet. That's correct. But I bet most of those people really aren't doing that, no matter how much you exercise and diet thing. Well, uh, that's kind of how I am. How often like, do you exercise? No, there there's areas. Well, yeah. I exercise, like, I kind of gave up on it, but, like, there was a time when I, like, used to run, like, every day after school, like, like, three miles. Oh, Kim. Like, not, like, I used to diet a lot and yeah. stuff like that. I think you're a little too into this stuff, Kim. You gave up on it. You're 17. 
Yeah. You, you just slowing Sometimes down. Sometimes people are stupid too. I went out to lunch with this stupid guy the other day, and uh, he's watching his weight. He's going to be an extra on like uh, uh, Dawson's Creek or something. So he, he wants to lose weight. It's it's like he's going to be on like Wednesday. He's going to be on. Uh-huh, sure. So so he orders the uh, he orders the um, uh, like chicken salad, and uh, I, and it comes. And I said. Uh, you can eat fried chicken? It's oh, fried. It's oh. like chicken strips. Chicken strip salad. He's like, yeah, chicken. Oh, yeah. This right. guy's in his 20s. Yeah. yeah, it's chicken. It's good. It's okay. Well, it uh, had the word salad in it. Yeah, and chicken in it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, well, he thinks this is a light meal. Yeah. So sometimes I think people are just stupid. Yeah, here's the problem with salad. It's always fattening unless it has the word salad in front of salad. If it says salad, salad, you're fine. But if it says chicken salad or tuna salad. Cover with ranch or dressing. Or whatever, fiesta salad, especially when yeah. you start picking those party times, you mm-hmm. know, that means there's trouble. Tropical salad. You know, anything in front of salad means uh, fattening. But she's, she, let me just People should real never quick. get liposuction, though, right? You're trying to cheat, like, the laws of nature when you do something well, like that. Well, uh, and it always comes back around. It's 17. Not a teenager. Kim. Uh huh. Yeah, do, do you, are you a little obsessive about your weight? I guess you could say that. Are, are you overweight? Um, I know how you do, like, that weight math. You know, like, if I tell you how much I weigh, you're going to add, like, five pounds no, on it? No, I won't do it. I won't do All it right. to you. Okay, so I weigh like 150, and I'm like five nine. You're overweight, Drew. Please. You you do you ever vomit or use laxatives, anything like that? Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not well. I don't know, like a little bit. Not All right, really. slow down there, Kim. There, there's not a little bit, Kim, with this kind of thing. This is something that is progressive and it's serious. And and you know what, guys, and you're not overweight either. Guys, right. guys aren't as into this as everyone would like to think they are. I know it sounds like a horrible uh, sentence, but what I mean is, is women perpetrate this on uh, on, on women. Yeah. Uh, guys like some curves, especially black guys. I mean, you heard this call <laughs> earlier in the night. This chick was two twenty and got raped. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. But I'm not black. No, 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 I know, but you you're not. Black, but you, the boy, the boy that likes you will well. be. No, Kim, relax. Just fine. Just, just relax. <laughs> you, know, no. you, you need to see somebody about it. You have an eating disorder, and you really do need to see someone about it. It's important. All right. Yeah, she's don't 150 freak, pounds don't, and wants liposuction. Don't and, and, and vomits and use laxatives a little bit. Yeah, that's crazy. And runs three miles a day. And, and, and. You know that's great. That's all bulimia, Kim. It's bulimia. Please. It is. All right. All right. Yeah. Bulimia. It's bulimia. Do you, yeah. I'm guessing her parents had her in dance class and yeah, uh, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Is that blah, what blah. does it, the yeah. dance class? Yeah, well, that and ice skating. I ask her. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. True. Yeah. <laughs> True's daughter's currently on tour. Kim? Uh-huh. Did your, uh, did your parents get you into dance class early? Um, no, they didn't, but they're really, like, pushing me in, like, sports and school and stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, nothing wrong with that. My parents were very pushy, too. Go to the garage. <laughs> Go crap. crap in that can, would you? <laughs> A lot of pressure. Don't come back to the can's full. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and none of those air pockets like last time. This time we're weighing it. <laughs> False bottom, my ass. <laughs> we'll be back. It is Love Line. I'm Adam Carolla. It's Dr. Drew over there. Jimmy Kimmel is uh, here tonight representing the Man Show, 10 o'clock, Comedy Central, Sunday night, all new episodes. So uh, do not miss that, Sunday night, 10 o'clock. All right, you guys ready to get back uh, to the phones? Natalie Rotano later on this week, uh, Primus, Juggy Vanessa from the Man Show, and uh, it, it's, really a, it's really a who's who. All right, I go? <laughs> no. Henry. Yeah. You're 18. Yeah. What's up? Uh, on the man show and I, and, uh... Whoa, what? Are you calling from a car phone? The x-rays were great, actually. Oh, yes, on the man show tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we got to see everyone and the whole audience was naked. (laughs) Um, also, I wanted to say, like, uh, I parked somewhere, uh, on a street where I've seen you before, and I got left in my car... I just want to apologize. Are you calling? Are you calling from a car phone now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're cutting in and out. So what? Uh, you, you, Adam, you're talking to? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm actually speaking to Adam. Yeah. It's uh, I leave burnout marks on his gravel in front of his house. No, <laughs> you don't. What kind of car do you drive? 
A black BMW. That is you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How else would he know about this otherwise? I don't know. He's apologizing. You call him a son of a bitch. He's so. What happened? You he, he what happened? How do you know about the? Hey, I got. I have a note left on my car from Adam. I think it. It's yeah. Not signed. Is everything misspelled? Uh, <laughs> no, but it's written in very big bold letters. Oh yeah, that's him. That's me. Yeah. Is it crazy looking writing? Like like a crayon. Yeah, it is. What's What's the note say? Do you have it? It says, "Here's the deal. If I see trash or burnout <laughs> marks on the gravel." You're going to have to find another parking place. Is that what you were saying? That's quite a threat. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to find another place. <laughs> yeah. Here's the deal, buddy. <laughs> well, if I see trash, the... <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> but see, I left it. I put a good twist on the end of the note, which is I said it's up to you. <laughs> which means there's, there's a chance for redemption. <laughs> yeah. It's good to write that in your own hand, handwriting, too, in case you have to actually take matters into your, in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Henry, you're calling to apologize for burning out on my gravel and leaving a trash? As a, as a matter of fact, the burning out on your gravel is a complete accident. I know. I, I, I know. You're drunk. It's hard not to. How tall are you, Henry? How tall? Yeah. 6'2". All right. We recruit him for basketball in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. All right, Henry. Who's in the neighborhood? Believe me, we'll be desperate for uh, a sixth man at some point. Huh. We, we know to go after Henry. All is forgiven, Henry. Also, I wanted to say you have a very nice car. I love your car. Well, yeah. thank you. And, and, and Henry, listen, Adam is the world's crappiest neighbor. I am so not. I'm very yourself. fair. Prepare yourself. Prepare the neighborhood, in fact. Yeah, sound the alarm. He's 18. He's got a black BMW. Yeah, I don't know how he swings it. Where you a drug you, dealer? What? what drug do you do? dealer? You sell stereo equipment or something? Beepers? No. What do you do? How did you get a BMW at 18? I'm a, I'm a loan agent. Wow. You're an 18 year old loan agent? Yeah. Loan shark. Yeah. He's uh, he's he doesn't look 18. I think I've seen him for it. He looks at least. Yeah, uh, I see you all the time. I'm in that place every day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I follow right. the trail of trash. All right, Henry. Thank you. Uh, all right. All's forgiven. Just keep you at, pick up your trash. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Sorry about that. All <laughs> right. That's all right. <laughs> oh sell that note on eBay. <laughs> well, I mean, the, there was trash, and he was peeling out. Yeah. No, Crazy you, kids yeah. hot dogging it in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're getting old when you're leaving notes, by the way. <laughs> I know. That's, that's an old thing. I, you know, I never even would think to do that. I would just find some creative way to punish them without ever confronting Nor them. Nor would I ever have the nuts to start out my note with, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> well, I put this trash on his car, so... Oh, that's that, nice. That was a little bit of a payback. But, I no, my feeling is is uh, I, I want to get along with people that just got to hold up their end of the bargain, <laughs> which is I'm king. <laughs> it's my block. And Jimmy was telling me how, how your your relationship with him works. In fact, where he does all the work, yeah. you work on your house, right? But you're making right. a house for all I'm of explaining us. Explaining the Drew. party house for all of us. That's not work. Yeah. I'm explaining the Drew. How a a Adam and I'll speak to the listeners now because Adam's gonna say how dare you? But Adam has like been remodeling this party house for all of us to have parties in right. under the you know under the somebody he's doing it like uh, for some group you know for, pause, us, for all of us That's for right. all of us to enjoy. Eventually, his labors will be fruitful for all Except of us. Adam's That's never right. given a party. Except ever. Uh, here's the thing: Adam will give three parties in the next ten years. <laughs> That's right. And I keep hearing about we're gonna watch football and play basketball over there. And and yet, coincidentally, he's got $75,000 worth of stereo equipment and no chairs. <laughs> I'm working on it. How dare you? How dare you, sirs? How dare the two of yous? <laughs> but, Drew, to be fair to me, yes, I have uh, never spun it any other way than Jimmy does all the work, right? No, that is true. You, you, no, you spend it as Jimmy likes to do all the work. <laughs> he prefers well, there, to do all the there work. There is a certain amount of truth and, to that. And that there you prefer certain... not to do the work. Right. Okay. Well, I, I, I've I've said many a time uh, I've I've uh, hitched my my wagon to Jimmy's team and uh, he used to drag me through showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy is a bit of a control freak, so Jimmy will gladly exchange uh, all the work for uh, the final say on things. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, we we our, our relationship. But you're not fooling anybody with the with the house thing. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> Millions of listeners. <laughs> Doug. Yes, sir. I can't believe the guy who's in a car I left a note on it. I called it. That's that is something. Hello? D Doug, you're 28. What's up? Um, uh oh. I have a problem with uh, bestiality. I see. 
And uh, sounds like you have no problem with bestiality. Well, I kind of do. Okay. I, for several years, I've been trying to go out with women, mm -hmm. and it never took. <laughs> it never took. It never took. Right. And, no. And I, I was, um, and a couple of buddies of mine. And what do you mean it never took? Well, well it's like they, they never liked me. I mean, I'm yeah. not the best looking guy in the world. And um, I disagree. No, no, no. Even you don't have to be the best looking guy in the world. If you're in the top five, let's say, <laughs> even nationally, not even uh, the world, well, you'll mean, get my laid. Teeth are rotten out and everything. <laughs> you what? My teeth are rotten out, and my insurance won't pay for this. Well, if you chew on the milk bones, they'll they keep them clean and healthy. Now, I didn't call for y'all make fun of me. Oh, All right. I'm sorry. Well, you had to I expect a little of it. I know. All right. I know how you are, Adam. Well, it is part of my job, you know, and when I'm not I, writing notes, I'm making fun know, of people. I know that guy who picks them fit, football picks, he good. He picked one today. Yeah, yeah. But, one. but you realize you're, you, you, it almost sounds like you're doing a character. And if <laughs> if I had to do the guy who has sex with animals voice, I'd no, do it no, like this, this too. Now. Where, what's, what, what state do you live in? I live in Texas. All yeah. right. But the, the, the serious note, uh, um, uh, I've been trying to go out with women all my life, and right. it never, it never, like I said, it never took. Okay. Right. And, and me and, and about two buddies of mine were getting drunk, and <laughs> I know, mm -hmm. but we we got pretty drunk, and one guy admitted that he tried it with a chicken or something, mm -hmm. and um, and um, so I had this goat, and it's real friendly, it's not timid, it ain't mean or nothing, so I thought I might try it. Right. And, and well, that did take. And and I've been doing it for about uh, not very long, about two or three weeks. Uh. But I feel so guilty afterwards. Yeah. I, 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 uh. but, How's the goat feel about the whole thing? Hell, I don't know. He's so busy bragging to his friends. He I doesn't mean, know. Does the well, goat seem to? Does the goat get upset? And it seems like you're hurting the goat. No, no. We uh, well, I don't know. We just he sounds pretty much the same. He? It's a he. Yeah. I. I well, I, no. I get. Yeah, I guess it's a he. It's well, then you're goat. gay. Do you use a condom when you're doing this? No, that's why I need to talk to Dr. Drew. Why, why don't you do that? Why don't you wear a condom? Do you, do you, isn't that too much forethought? <laughs> do you know no, what I mean? No, no, Aren't no, you really well, admitting wait, something you when you're getting a condom? I HIV for no damn goat, I hope No, you're not getting HIV, but you could get brucella and all kinds of lovely stuff Brucella, like. what is that? Yeah, Brucella. <laughs> that's Drew's youngest daughter. <laughs> haven't you ever heard of mad goat disease? <laughs> no, I haven't. No, no. Oh, are you really? Mad cow disease. Yeah, yeah. So you're... Wait a minute. You're no, not... I, hey, I believe that. Really? I, I do, too. Yeah. I, I really With do, With a male too. goat? Yeah. Uh, hold on now. Can I say something? Yes. Uh, what, uh, Doug, what do you look like? This may be Ann's husband. Uh, I am. I'm about six foot two. I weigh about um, 275. And um, I, wear, I wear glasses. Are you ugly? Yes, I'm very ugly. Yeah, it sounds well, like no, I don't. I don't... God... Dang, I hate just, I don't like putting myself down. No. I'm one of those kind of no, persons. No, we'll but leave that to us. Is, but what I'm saying is, girls just don't, don't like me. Don't, don't take, doesn't take. I, I put every, I'm a gentleman. Why? 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 Why what? Have All you right. tried, have you tried. I need sex, ma'am. Have yeah. you tried. Uh, the, tried masturbating? Yes, I do. Have you tried. I tried masturbating, but all. Right. And I, it's not like I'm thinking but, of the but goat. But the hoof chafed him. Yeah, yeah. It's no, not we, like I'm thinking with, of the goat. No, no, we got no, you. No, no, I understand. Don't you. you feel like a loser having sex with a goat? All right, and well, please, like let's not cast judgment. Yeah, Ooh. well, he, oh, come Ooh. on, don't get crazy. Right. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Ooh, good comeback, by the way. Hold on a second. Wait, sec. Doug, oh, we want to talk to you some more. Hold on, let me, let me just stop right there. And uh, do, do not, uh, pardon the pun, get his goat. I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying I to know, but you're going to condone it. No, no, no. I know, no. but let me. Let oh, me. Drew, uh, why don't you wear a condom with a goat? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm. Well, if he's doing it anyway. I'm just trying to focus on his health. What You know what's crazy about chicks? I e hope he gets something. Everything is everything is their kids. Yeah. I don't care yeah, but if it's a goat, goat it's their kids, you know? You're right, Jim. What if the goat gets pregnant with a Doug baby? <laughs> Well, well, happen, I want to talk. I want to talk to Doug some more. I do too. Now, and don't no, no, don't, don't, don't rile him. Take a break. Hold on a second. I want to hold no. Doug's segment. I will. Something Doug? to be said. No, you know. Doug, let me ask you a few questions. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to get rude with the ma'am. No, no, it's all no. right. Sorry. No, no, on, no, no that's all right. I want to ask a couple of per important questions. Uh, what's a goat sign? <laughs> No, come on. No, no, it's important. Yeah, yeah. In later, any relationship, later. I don't care who you're hey, having. Hey, 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 ask, we're if that goat's a Sagittarius well, know, and he's a Gemini, this, this is not going to work. Yeah. I know there's something got to be. No, I, I know there's something up here. Now, are you a farmer? 
No, I, I ain't no farmer. Stockbroker? I, I mean, we we have we used to. My father did before he passed away. I see. Yeah. Well, why do you have a goat? You keep the goat in your apartment? The, no, a goat was given to my baby brother for like his I don't know his fifteenth birthday. It's mm. his goat. Seems so innocent at the time. Does <laughs> he know? He know what you're doing, his goat? Hell no! My yeah. mama's in the next room. That's why I keep my voice down. Oh, wow. oh all right. I see. And and but you don't live on a farm. No, I you, live out in the country in the trailer, but I don't live on a damn farm. You live in an area where you have other animals? Well, I have. we have cats and dogs, stuff like that. The only, only kind of livestock we have is that damn goat. I see. I used to didn't like it. I see. Now, male... Damn time. Oh, excuse my language. I'm on the right. Yes. Yes, you are. Male, uh, male goats... That's the second thing you didn't learn in finishing school. A, uh, no raping animals. Uh, B, no swearing on the radio. And not necessarily in that order, by the way. Goats eat like uh, like tin cans and stuff, They eat right? sofas. They'd He's everything. He's going to run into something nasty in that rectum. Yeah, you're going to cut yourself <laughs> on something in there. Where's Dr. Dre? All right, he's here. I'm trying to help. I'm he's on the. He's to... unconscious. <laughs> Doug, I'm All right, hold on. Dr. Drew, now I need to talk to him. I, I agree you're going to talk to him. I think this right here is sick. Okay. No. I think yes. I got a problem, and y'all guys are making fun of me. No, 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 Doug, I want to talk to you. I let, definitely want to talk let's to you. Not, if these guys will let me, I'll be yeah. happy to. We don't want to rush to judgment, so let's just hold on a second. I want to get help. I just don't know where to go yeah. because this is embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I didn't tell y'all my real name, Hell. No. No, no, no. Good. My real name, everybody at my, my damn job would be, hey, boy, heard you about the goat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right. Yeah. 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 Where right, do you sure. work, by the way? No, 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 don't make him say you that. You work with kids? No. no. I don't just, work with no pets. Just, just playing, playing a hunch. All right, hold on a second there, Doug. They'll finally let me talk to you in a minute. Yeah. All this right. is the best call ever. It really is. And we'll yeah. be back with uh, Doug, the uh, goat love and hillbilly after this. <laughs> It is Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is uh, Dr. Drew over there. Jimmy Kimmel from The Man Show and the Fox uh, pregame show. 10 o'clock is uh, when you can find uh, The Man Show on uh, Sunday nights. And about 9.15 in the morning on Fox is uh, when you can find him on the pregame show. Twice on one day. All right. When we left over, we're to Doug. Doug is uh, 28. Doug's uh, a big boy. He's uh, 6'2", about 275, living with mom. Uh, hasn't, uh, not exactly, uh, Lorenzo Lamas when it comes to the ladies, has not, uh, had a lot of dates, has given up on women because, uh, they haven't taken, he hasn't taken to them or they haven't taken to him, but he has found someone special who he has taken to, and that's a little girl named Gruff. It's a boy, actually. A little boy named Gruff. Yeah. Doug? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Doug, a goat. So you want to okay. stop this behavior. You know it's oh, not yeah. a good thing. Yeah. I know I know it's not. Can you stop? Can you just put it down and not do it? I can kill a goat. No. Or I'm get not, rid of him. No, I'm not so, sure. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't you just go take him off or kill him or something. My brother will be asking about him. And do you have access to any kind of mental health services? What do you mean? Crazy house? No, no, no. Right. Yeah, so well, you, you, you put but hold on. You, well, you he, have to understand, I killed... was brought up differently than most folks were. I, and, and I'm flabbergasted. Know. But how were you brought up? Well, I, I was brought up that a man ain't supposed to tell about his weaknesses and stuff like that. So, well, I, I, I think you, it would be smart just well, to listen, talk to someone. Yeah, it's no it, different than calling this show. Yeah, it's, you want to talk to someone about about giving you support or getting but help. But doing it here with y'all guys is a lot different. Y'all never meet you. I never see you. I'm not face-to-face with you. Yeah, but professionals professionals don't tell anybody. They, they, they keep oh, us all... Oh, hell. <laughs> now, is that true, Dr. Drew? They don't tell nobody? It's against the law. Well, it may be against the law, but you don't go home and tell your wife, hey, I met a guy who was with no, you. No, no. No, they no. try not to talk. No way. Plus, if he did, she'd get drunk and blab it at the next cocktail party. Yeah. Yeah. Doug? Uh, y- yes, sir. Here's a, uh, an important question. Uh, when you're having sex with this goat, it is really difficult to corral a goat. How is it that you uh, get the goat? Do you know how what I, I mean? How I, do I get it? I've handled uh, some goats, and yes... Like attempt- I said, it's very timid. It, it, you can... Uh, now, that's why I think the damn thing likes it. Yeah. Now, well, I'm not very big. <laughs> I figure, I guess, that's what it is. It's, it's not where it's, it's... It's real tight still, but the thing <laughs> is, he doesn't kick me twice, but when I hit him on... hit it, I, Do I have to talk about this? No, no. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> no. I, 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 yes, it's important that you do. <laughs> uh, Doug? I done made your show. Doug, yeah. you, 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 he's got to be full of crap. No, no, no. No, no. Uh-uh. All right. So, Doug, you, you get the, it's a, it's a male goat. It's a male goat. I see. So, you get him in the, uh. What's his name? His name, well, his name's Billy. Oh. That's, 
That's the truth. Yeah. That's what my brother named him. Or yeah. that's what the guy said his name was when he brought him to us. Then what are you supposed to do with a male goat besides rape? <laughs> I mean, is there other things in the... Well, it, you eat them. Yeah. No, he just, I don't know. He yeah. just kept it. He's had it for like maybe, I don't know, for two or three years. Right. Well, it's not going to hurt to get rid of the goat, is it? I, 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 I might hurt the little brother. What am I supposed to do? Go up to my, my brother, hey, uh, can I get rid of this goat? Because yeah. I'm raping the hell out of it every yeah. night. Yeah, no. Oh. You, you need a little help, bro. I mean, it just, it just shows your need for... Frankly, you need for well, see, I don't go out and kill people. Hey, I don't hey, think hey, about raping I, women I, or hey, nothing like listen, that. Listen, Doug, you're, you're not hurting anybody. You may be hurting an animal, but most importantly, it, it shows your desperation for connection with people. And I think sitting down and talking well, to I somebody. Do, I've got some childhood friends, and that's all pretty much I hang around. Yeah, I think I, mean, yeah, I, I think it would do you a, lot, a load of good to be able to talk to someone and uh, you know work some of this stuff out. And this is like any other sexual compulsion, and uh, they're hard to to control. So you, well, maybe you, not like, I mean, like, this is not necessarily like, like say, a foot fetish. Well, then, then why is it, um, it's like compulsive friend, masturbation. I have a friend who's a normal guy. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he's an attorney. And um, we were the ones drinking that night, and he told me he had tried it before. Well, all attorneys hump goats. That's, but no, no, I, it yeah. wasn't a goat. Oh. I don't know what the hell it was. Chicken. Chicken. Well, they usually uh, just rape their clients, but maybe that's <laughs> what? Why. It could have been talking about sodomizing one of his clients. That does happen, at least figuratively. But, uh, hey, Doug, yes, you, you, you're going to have to get yourself a little help. You, you, you've made the first step, right? Uh, yes, sir. You, I, by, by I, talking well, about I, it. If, if I call, if, if, if I go to, a, a, um, what kind of doctor would I see Just a, anyway? a, ther- a well, psychiatrist, you, psychologist, well, psychologist, therapist. A goat humpyologist, I think. No, you'd psychologist, want to go to. a psychologist. Mm-hmm. Psychologist. Either social, you know, MS, LCSW or veterinary. MSCC. Hey, that football guy, picking guy, what's your name? Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. that's right. If yeah. you don't leave me alone, I'm going to tell Chris on you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure you got <laughs> the hotline really of Chris. Do y'all guys, do y'all really not like each other? Listen, you hump goats. I don't want to talk about my relationship with Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> no, seriously, do you, do you like, not like him? Uh, it, they're fine. I don't even know those guys. But I, <laughs> he doesn't see that. That's not the issue. How dare you? <laughs> but I, yeah. like, Doug, just, just, I mean, looking to, get, got you. Right. looking to get a little help. That's all. I, really, it's, it's important. <laughs> And listen, a goat uh, cramps every thirty seconds. Yeah. I mean, you 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 try to pull a goat from one spot of the barn to another spot of the barn, it leaves a trail of duke, uh, you know, yeah, a foot high. Sprays a shotgun of pellets. So I don't know how it is that you'd. Uh, hold on, I just I, I can't help it. He's like a <laughs> he's like a tooth that I have to keep playing with. Can we fly him out here? Because I'd love to come back, <laughs> Doug. Doug, doesn't the doesn't the goat defecate when you attempt to sodomize it? What's that mean? Uh, number two, poopy. Yes, sometimes. I he's see. Twi- he's done it twice. Twice. Uh, Very rude. Wear a condom, yeah. please. Where's this etiquette? Well, please, yeah, wear a please condom, wear a condom please. please. All right. But stop having we sex with the goat. And, yeah, stop having sex. Yeah. And uh, don't wear one of those sheepskin condoms. It's just too <laughs> ironic. <laughs> it's like incest. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll be back. Always good to end with a, a goat rape story. Yeah. That's what I tell anyone who's uh, doing any kind of public speaking. You know, lay the information out, but always finish with a good goat <laughs> raping story. <laughs> leave, you know, <laughs> leave a smile on people's right, face for the right. head for the buffet. <laughs> Positive message. <laughs> the buffet. Uh, that's right. That's right. I think that's Yogi Berra's thing. That's oh, what he uh, does. Okay, don't you guys have a few anecdotes? Am right. I the only one that just feels... I'm sorry for guys like that. I mean, feel the pain that that loneliness. Oh yeah, I feel oh sorry yeah. For him. But okay. I feel more. My sorrow is overcome by my urge to mock. Him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hard not to mock. And then I yeah. feel sorry for humanity in general. Then. And but for I, the goat, the goat's not. I mean, I, I mean, don't. I never have too tough a time with the animal because uh, I, I I think once you you know consume animals. Yeah, but if you're P- like Pierce Brosnan's goat, okay, no problem. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you're a 275 pound thug from Texas. Texas's goat, and he's that's right. 
giving you. Uh, yeah, but let me tell you something about Pierce Brosnan's goat. He's going to get tired of humping that goat and go for a trophy goat yeah. in just a couple of years. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Some hot goat he meets on the set of some James Bond movie. Man. Starts bringing the goat to the trailer, banging the goat in the trailer. Next thing you know, his goat is maybe not looking as good as it looked when it was fresh off the barn. Yeah. Maybe put I'll on go. a couple of pounds. <laughs> I was just thinking, I just go along in the hoof. Yeah. yeah. Women don't do this stuff. No, they don't. They just no. get outraged by they it. They don't have a penis. It's a very dangerous, dangerous thing. Yes. It makes you do horrible things like hump goats. <laughs> All right, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, everyone. Sunday night, the man show, uh, 10 o'clock. Primus, uh, tomorrow night. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, and, Drew. And until next time, this is Adam Crow for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. I didn't mean to get rude with the ma'am. This has been Love Line. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Wilkins Dingle. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.